Hey, it's Jeff with yourlearningcareer.com. If you use Zoom to conduct your training sessions, the whiteboard that's included can be a great way to add some interactivity to your training sessions. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips on how to do that. So stick around, take a look. All right, so here I am in Zoom, and to get the whiteboard going, it's really easy. I'm going to go down here to share screen. I'll click that. I select whiteboard here, and then I'm just going to click share, and here I am in the whiteboard. And you can see I've got this annotation toolbar here with various things I can use. I'll look at that in a moment. Um, but first, I want to talk about when or why you would use the whiteboard functionality in Zoom. And for me, and specifically when you would use it for a training class, and I use it basically the same way I would use a flip chart or a whiteboard in, a, in an in-person training class. So if I want to capture people's thoughts, if I want to do some brainstorming, if I want to set up a parking lot, these are all things I would do in a regular in-person class. And that's what I might do with this, uh, with the whiteboard here. Uh, and then of course, there's different things you could, you know, you can be creative and come up with different activities that you could use it for. Um, but let's look at some practical applications of, of how I would use this in a training class. So one thing I like to do a lot of times in a training session is I like to start with um, asking my participants, what are your expectations? So one thing I could do is I could set that up on the whiteboard. Now, I could um, ask that, say, hey, everybody, what are you hoping to get out of the training session today? And I could start taking notes here if I want. But the cool thing about this, this whiteboard, this digital whiteboard, is I can actually let my participants go in and mark it up. So here you can see where my participant, Jeff, typed in, learn something. Very specific. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, so I can open it up and that's, that's something, that's one of the big benefits to this because if I'm in a regular classroom, I wouldn't want to have, you know, 20 people run up to my flip chart and mark it up. I mean, maybe I could, you know, depending on the activity, but you know, what's nice about this is I can open it up and let people do that. And let me just show you though, um, up here at the top under more, this is where I can turn that ability on and off. So if I want, so you saw right now I have that annotation available for my participants, but if I wanted to, I could disable it here, disable annotation. I could also hide the names. You saw earlier where the name was showing. So I could, I knew, oh, that was Jeff who typed learn something. But maybe if I want my um, particip participants to be able to be anonymous, maybe I turn that off. And then another nice thing here I want to point out is this hide floating meeting controls because you can see this is taking up a lot of real estate all of this stuff here so I may want to do that hide now I've got the whole whiteboard here uh, to use if I want to bring that stuff back I can I can just hit escape and it's back um, if I just want to lose the annotation tools here, if I want to keep this guy, this floating thing, that's fine. Um, and I just want to get rid of this. I can hit the X here and it's gone. And I can bring that back by going here to whiteboard and it brings back all my tools. So um, pretty nice. Now, as you start to fill this up, you know, as people write things on here or they draw, what have you, this can get filled up pretty quickly. So you might think, oh, what do I do if I need more room or if maybe I want to start something new? Not a problem. It's very easy. Down here at the bottom right, you see this little square with a little plus symbol. If I click that, it's going to give me a new, fresh whiteboard. My other one is still there. Notice I can go back and that's still there. But if I want to start a new whiteboard, a new activity, a new question, whatever, I can start a fresh one here. So maybe this one, 
I want to make my parking lot. You know, sometimes in a training class, we get questions that we're not quite ready to answer yet, so we might set up a parking lot. Um, so if someone asks a question like uh, maybe maybe they ask uh, where do we go for help and I might say hey that's a great question I'm not there yet I'm going to answer that in a little bit but I'm going to put it in the parking lot so I don't forget to answer that question now what's great about this whiteboard too is notice this so let's say I go in I put this in the parking lot and then I stop sharing and then maybe here I'm back in my PowerPoint or whatever it is I'm using. Um, if I go back to my whiteboard, look at that. My parking lot is still there. So I didn't lose anything. I still got all my information, stuff on the um, first page, my parking lot here on page two. And if I want to continue to add new whiteboards, I can. So that's pretty nice. And then the one other thing I wanted to show you real quick, because this is, this is another really nice feature with this digital whiteboard, is the save option. So let's, you know, as I've gone through the day and I've captured people's thoughts and drawings or whatever I've captured, maybe I want to save that for later. Maybe this is a multi-day session and I want to save these um, expectations for the last day so I can come back to them. Well, it's real easy. I just click, I can um, pick how I want them saved. It can be a PNG or a PDF. And then I just click save. And there it is, it's saved. I can click show in folder. And see, I've got an, in documents, I've got a Zoom folder with all my saved whiteboards. So that's where I can maybe rename it. And I can share that. I could email it out, whatever I want to do with it, but I've got now I've got that captured. So that's very nice. So those are just a couple of things I wanted to show you with how you can use the Zoom whiteboard in your virtual training sessions. All right, well, those were some quick tips and tricks on using the Zoom whiteboard. I hope you found that helpful. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe or leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.